I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, Parrot's Bebop continues the drone dance, a belt with special powers, and it's movie night, so we take a peek at Mockingjay Part 1. The holidays are coming and something that's on a lot of wish lists this year is a camera equipped drone. So just in time for the annual shopping blitz, Parrot has finally priced its new Bebop kits. The Bebop features HD video recording with a non-fisheye 180 degree view, automatic return, 3-axis stability, and sharp 14 megapixel still photos. Control it with a smartphone or tablet, or you can greatly extend the range with the Parrot Sky Controller option. It also works with FPV systems. The Bebop was revealed in May without pricing, but we now know the basic kit will be $500, with the Sky Controller adding $400 onto that. You can pre-order it now. We're always watching for new fashionables, wearable tech that looks as good as it works. Our latest discovery is this attractive belt called the Zoo Belt, but spelled with an X. It looks good while holding up your pants, but at the same time, its series of thin, flexible batteries will charge up your dying cell phone or tablet. The charging cable tucks neatly into the belt with a magnet, and there's even a battery level indicator hidden discreetly in the buckle. So cool. It's on Indiegogo right now, and you can get your choice of a black or brown Zoo Belt for a $155 pledge. Hey, it's Friday and that means movie night for a lot of you and there's a big one opening tonight. Mockingjay Part 1, the first part of the last two Hunger Game movies, officially debuts finally and it looks like it's going to be a good one. All the familiar characters are back, of course, as Katniss Everdeen, played by Jennifer Lawrence, goes from reluctant hero to fiery warrior as she both battles evil President Snow and tries to rescue hunky Peter Millark from Snow's evil clutches. Did we mention Snow is evil? On a sad note, Mockingjay also features Philip Seymour Hoffman in one of his last acting performances before he died from a drug overdose earlier this year. Critics have been a bit cool on the movie, but we've also heard it's the most violent of the series so far. So count on lots of things blowing up between scenes of Katniss trying to sort out a complicated love triangle. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you again next week.